Hi everyone, my name is Sophie Tiger and I'm from the Greater Jersey Hudson River Region Central Council. And I'll be interviewing actors Michael Belling and Samantha Logan. We are so happy to have you with us. What do you both think sends the most important message in all American? Like, what do you want your show to send to the people? Like, mm -hmm. that's a good question. <clears throat> I think that no matter where you come from, uh, you've all got a story to tell and to share, and that you can relate in more ways than you think. Michael, in the show All American, your character had a serious injury. There are so many people who face challenges in their day-to-day -day lives. What advice would you give to them? Are you talking about the concussion? Yes. Ah, yes, of course. What advice would I give them to face the challenges? To overcome just injury in general yeah. or just... Or just a challenge have in their day-to-day -day I have. I, I've had a concussion and I broke this foot twice. Ooh. Um, well, I would say to them... Trust your medical professional. <laughs> oh, facts. Um, don't try to be the hero. Don't try to, you know, um, if your coach, your teammates, or, or yourself is pressuring you, uh, listen to the medical professionals because, you know, coming back early is only going to basically ruin your career or slow you down because that happened to me. It's happened to Jordan. Don't do it. Yes. Samantha, I really enjoyed your performance in 13 Reasons Why. Your character was faced with so many mental health issues. What are some things you personally do to help maintain those good mental health goals? Um, yeah, I just, uh, I give myself a lot of love, love and a lot of grace. Um, yeah, I think we all um, kind of deal with mental health to a certain extent um, and just surrounding yourself with um, loved ones and um, seeking help, which is mm -hmm. not something that I'm necessarily good at. Um, yeah, clap it, up, um, clap it up, clap it up. Don't be afraid to ask for help, don't be embarrassed by whatever you're going through, and things do get better. I know that it's hard to see the light at the end of the tunnel when you're in the midst of whatever you're going through mentally, but things do inevitably get better. Um, and just give yourself grace along the way, yeah, yeah. Mm. And in the last recent years, we've seen minority groups face discrimination, such as racism and anti Semitism. What can teens do when they experience this racism and anti-Semitism? Um, well, it's a lot. It's a lot to take, especially if you're. Um, I mean, especially if it's happening like to you in in in, a, in circumstances. I think um, it's very, very, very triggering. I think our show um, tackles that very well in terms of um, you know what we talk about and. Uh, yeah, I think it's just keeping the conversation open about that. And um, in the moment, just, I mean, it's it's so hard, right? Because you don't want to take it on, but it's it's important to, to face that kind of stuff head on too. Um, um, yeah, I don't know. I honestly don't know either. Yeah, it's I it's don't tough. know, what, I mean, how, to, how do you take it? You know, how do you, you have to, you know, be the bigger person to a degree, right? Mm -hmm. You have to um, not almost turn the other cheek, but also remember what, what I guess, what occurred to you and, and use that to be, maybe fuel you um, to take action. Um, you know, definitely can't be quiet about it. Yeah. But also, yeah, I mean, protect yourself as well, because there's there, there are people in this world who want to hurt you and people that you love and care about. Um, but we can't let them win at the end of the day. Wrapping this up, thank you so much for being here at, with us at BBYO. And I'm so glad you can come out here and just do see International Connection. Thank you so much for having us. It's such a pleasure. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs>